Greetings to all of you. My name is Joshua from Chosen Vessels, the Preacher's Channel. Today is 527 19, and uh, what follows is part two of 10 must know ancient Hebrew verbs in the present tense, imperative form, affirmative form, and with 30 examples. Our previous lesson, part one, was about the verb to create. And uh, if you decrypt it, you will see the wa and the o. Uh, in fact, to create in the Ebe, in the ancient Hebrew, is wa. Okay, it is made of these two symbols, the wa and the o. And the wa means uh, superior or overwhelming and the O means to see or to observe wherefore uh, to create means to go beyond what is seen and creativity requires going beyond what already exists you know what what already is so that, that that's what it means to create is to go beyond what is seen in this second part we will learn to conjugate the verb to go and uh, it is in number two on our 10 must know ancient hebrew verbs uh, to help take your every uh, language learning or your ancient hebrew language learning to the next level especially because you will understand the meaning behind the words you are using so to go in the Ebe in the ancient hebrew is yi which is uh, letter ya this again is the hebrew in its original form the Ebe Ebe, the e, okay, well, and which is read from right to left, ebe, okay, and uh, this is the European version of it, uh, uh, read from uh, left to right, ivri, okay, and then the latter version of which is Hebrew, okay, so ebe is uh, Hebrew. All ten lessons are coming from. Um, the booklet titled uh, 10 must know ancient Hebrew verbs in the present tense imperative form uh, affirmative form with 30 examples it is available on our website 7is3.com in paperback hard copy or in PDF electronic file uh, there is a link in the description box of each video lesson to take you directly to uh, the web page should you want to own a copy and uh, thank you in advance to go is expressed by letter y in the ave it is ye and uh, this is what the great commission looks like as we read it in uh, the book of the gospel of mark chapter 16 verse 15 where uh, jesus said to his disciples uh, i read and he said unto them go ye all right go ye ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature okay so go is uh, ye and uh, me is ye okay me ye go ye and uh, it's a movement okay to go means to move like the wind which we also see in the book of acts chapter 1 verse 8 i read but ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost which is what the yah okay the wind of Yah is come upon you, and ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the 
outermost part of the earth unquote so from from jerusalem to spread into the whole world so yeah or to go means uh it's a movement okay like the wind to go means to move so how do you say go in the Abbe in ancient hebrew it is ye okay ye and uh you go or go ye it is me ye okay me is uh you and ye is go so me ye go ye or you go okay this is the ya symbol the flow and this is where letter ya derived from that is the imperative form okay and uh, in the present tense affirmative form how do you say i go in ebe it is ma yi okay ma low intonation and yi low intonation ma yi i go and how do you say you go in ebe it is a yi or o yi or wo yi okay low intonation and low intonation o yi okay you go and how do you say he or she or it goes in the abbey it is a uh, uh, ye okay a uh, ye she goes and um, how do you say we go in uh, in abbey it is uh, me high intonation ye okay me ye and how do you say you go in ever it is me ye okay this is the plural and this is the plural here in me here you have the ma and the ya which is uh individuals flowing together okay that's me or we me ye okay and then uh you go you say me ye and then me here also is uh um uh, uh, individuals flowing together is a plural so you go me ye and how do you how do you say they go in every it is wo okay ye wo ye high intonation and low intonation wo ye and a wo again is a uh, is a group of people there are, there are many plural and this is the uh, the symbol to express the plural it is wo okay and ye and in uh, uh examples there are three examples here the first one is uh, uh go home okay go home in every it is ye afm okay ye afm low intonation low intonation high intonation and low intonation ye af af and then ma. and the second example is go to ayram go to ayram and it is ye ayram bo okay ye ayram as a slide uh, as a slide down uh, it's a downward slide intonation Ye a yram bo okay and in third example you have Jacob went into Egypt with his children okay Jacob ye egipte ple viawo okay Jacob ye egipte ple viawo okay Jacob went into Egypt with his children so this is um the end of 10 must know ancient hebrew verbs present tense imperative form affirmative form and with 30 examples part two please stay tuned we have more coming to you soon blessings and until next time